Prices under the integrated model are called locational marginal prices, or LMPs. This means that a unique marginal clearing price is calculated at multiple points around the system called nodes. A node is a point where supply enters the system, such as a generator bus bar or a transmission intertie, or a load takeout point such as a distribution substation. A locational marginal price is calculated for each node based on the last megawatt plus one selected to provide power at that node. Following are two examples of calculating LMPs, the first without transmission constraints and the second with them. If there are no constraints between two nodes, the nodes are collapsed into one common zone for the purposes of setting an LMP, and prices are the same in both nodes. In this example, there are four 200 megawatt units in node 1 and four 200 megawatt units in node 2. There is 299 megawatts of load in node 1 and 890 megawatts of load in node 2. The nodes are connected by transmission path A, which has a capacity of 600 megawatts. The optimal schedule is to first schedule all four lower cost units in node 1 and then schedule the two cheapest node 2 units. As you can see, only 501 megawatts needs to flow on path A to allow the optimum schedule, which is below the rated line capacity. Since this schedule is feasible, both nodes are scheduled as one. The LMP will be the same in both nodes and is set by the $42 bid from the second unit in node 2. If there is a transmission constraint between two nodes, then each node will have a separate price based on the marginal clearing price at each node. Let's look at the example again, but this time, the capacity of path A is constrained to 300 megawatts. Now, the optimal schedule can no longer be used, since path A would be overloaded. To accommodate this situation, the fourth unit in node 1 is not scheduled, and the third unit in node 2 is used in its place. Now, actual flow on path A is 300 megawatts, which matches line capacity and all loads can be served. Since there is a transmission constraint, each node is treated separately for LMP purposes. The price in node 1 is set by the $38 unit, and the price in node 2 is set by the $48 unit. In previous examples, line losses were not included in the LMP calculation. Some ISOs use this method, while others include the cost of line losses. If there are line losses on the transmission line between two nodes, and the ISO procedure calls for line losses to be included in the LMP calculation, prices can then be different in two adjacent nodes, even if there is no transmission congestion, since line losses raise the price at the node where the power flows in. In this example, the price at node 3 is $40, while the price at node 4 is $42.11, since we are adding in the cost of line losses for getting power to node 4.